Today we're looking at leak code number 701. It's a question called insert into a binary search tree. And so we're given a root node of a binary search tree and a value to insert into the tree. We want to just go ahead and return the root node of the BST after the insertion and it's guaranteed that the new value does not exist in the original BST. All right, and notice there may exist multiple ways for insertion as long as the tree remains a BST after insertion, you can use any of them. So here we have our input BST, we're gonna um, insert five. And so we just traverse down and uh, insert it here to the left of seven. Here we have five and we go ahead and put it in the root and we, um, we refactor the BST. Okay, and the nodes will be in the range of zero to 10 to the fourth. All the values are unique and it's guaranteed that the value does not exist in the original BST. Okay, so there's, there's, a, there's a couple ways we can think about this. Okay, and the way we wanna think about this is let's say we have our root node here. Let's say we're gonna go ahead and insert five. So let me just go ahead and write five as what we're inserting. Uh, grab this here, put five right over here. Okay, and so now what we wanna do is we wanna figure out where is five going to be placed? What is the previous node for five? Okay, so what would be the successor for five? It would be seven, right? And so if we start at the root and we ask ourselves, is the value at the root greater than or less than the value that we're inputting here, this five here, okay? It is less than. That means that the five is gonna be somewhere on the right side of the tree because it's greater than the current value, okay? So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go ahead and set the previous to the root, and then we're gonna go ahead and traverse right, okay? Now we're gonna ask the same question. Is the value at the current node, which is seven, is it less than or greater than the, the node that we wanna insert? Okay, it's greater than, that means that this needs to be on the right or the left side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set our previous to where the current is and then set the current over here and it's gonna be at null. Now when current equals null, we break out of the loop, okay? And so now we have a pointer here to the successor for the node that we wanna insert. And then all we have to do is just go ahead and insert this five right over here. We just do one more check. Is this, uh, is this value less than, I'm sorry, is this value less than the current val or the previous value? If it's less than, it's gonna go on the left side. And if it's greater than, it'll go on the right side. Okay, so that's the idea. Uh, before we jump into the code, let's just quickly look at time and space complexity for this. So this is normally log n if the tree is balanced, okay? But if we don't have a balanced tree, then we do, this can be linear time. So for example, let's say we have a tree where it's one, two, three, four, and five then you know, if we have to insert something here like six or you know, uh, a, a node here or here, we're still gonna have to traverse all the way down this tree here, okay? Which will be linear. But if it's balanced, then we're only going to go to the height of the tree in worst case. And so in that case, we're gonna have log n. So our time complexity here is gonna be O of log n if the tree is balanced and our space complexity is gonna be O of one. It's constant space. We're not creating any new space relative to the size of the input. We're just creating a new tree node and then inserting it wherever it needs to be. And then we're creating a few other pointers to, to help us traverse down the tree. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in the code. So first thing we wanna do is we can just go ahead and create our tree node. So we'll just say new, tree node of val. And now we just wanna do one little uh, edge case here. If we, are, if we are given an empty root, then the, the value, the new tree node, the new node is going to be the new root, okay? 
So um, if root is null, then we just want to go ahead and return new node. Okay. The idea is, is that if there's no tree, then whatever is inserted will just be the new root. And that's just what we're returning because they just want us to return the new root with the new node attached to it. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to have a pointer for our current, which will be our root. And we want to have a pointer for our prev, which will be null. Okay, and now we just want to say while uh, current, while there is a current, we just want to check if val is greater than current.val. Okay, so if the val is greater, we want to go to the right side of the tree. So we want to set our prev to our current and then our current to current.right. Okay, else we want to set our prev again to current and our current to current.left. Okay, and now we have access to our prev. We know our prev is, in, is the successor for our, our input value. So now we just want to check if val is less than prev.val. Okay, we just want to go ahead, let me just make some more space down here so we can see. If the val is less than prev.val, then prev left is going to equal new node. Okay, else prev.right is going to equal new node. And then we just return our root. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that. And we're good. Okay. So that's lead code 701. It's not too difficult, but it's a good pattern to know um, just how to traverse a tree using depth first search. Um, and because th this, this pattern does come up in a lot of other questions that involves trees, but it's, it's good to be very, very, very specific about when you're going to have log end time or when you're going to have log of, uh, uh, I'm sorry, log of end time versus when you're going to have linear time versus when you're going to have log end time. And the difference is, is if the tree is balanced or not. Okay. So just something to keep in mind with, with these types of problems. Okay. That's leak code 701. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all on the next one.